Hi, I'm Michael Pilarski, and uh, I'm out here today to just give you a quick lesson in black cohosh digging. And uh, we're this is October 18th, 2017. Hardly any rain. The ground is really dry. This is not irrigated. It's 16-year-old planting, and it hasn't been watered or weeded or tended for you know 10 years or something. So. It's on its own and it's persisting very well because we're in a 25 inch rainfall zone, uh, maybe even 30 inch on the near the Canadian border on the upper Columbia River on the Columbia River, just below the Canadian border. And uh, so this is we could even it hasn't been grown in the woods, but in the fact that it's sort of been a, an abandonment, um, it's relatively close to a, we might say woods grown. So here we have here we go. Step one. Here's where we're, the row we're working on. So I cut the stems off and to prepare the ground here. Step two is to rake the area really thoroughly. This is a particularly bad patch of quack grass mixed in here. All those yellow leaves. A little hard to see, see what I'm doing. This is. There hasn't been, this is the first pass we've run into today, but we can see there's a bunch out there. So there has been weeds gradually moving in, but the cohosh is so established, there's no stopping it. So, it takes a bit of raking. I really like to get all the debris off. Like here, it's been ra raked, and we get rid of all, most all the debris. There's a little bit of some green, uh, Polygonum albiculaire. So the next step is to so start is working along the plant, and you have to get underneath it. In this case, I'm actually going to go in between these two plants, cut off those connecting roots. Notice the heavy-duty steel shank. One piece steel nursery spade here. It's actually a tree planting tool, but uh, it means that I can really get under here and lift up. But and but I'm going to go back down to one that's a little bit easier because we're making a short video. Once you get her underneath it all the way around, you can get underneath it. You can upend it. Toss it on the side where it's the, the least uh, damaging. I don't do it on the crown, especially if I'm after propagation material. See, there's a lot of, you know, I get a bit of root with those buds. That's, I didn't get enough root with that. I just broke it off. But you can do this very, I can get a lot of starting material here. I figured out that. If you cut off all the main roots, leave a, a bit of root, you get as much for the propagation material as for just selling it as root mass. Maybe a little better. So there, that one's ready to go to the washing table, which we won't, maybe we'll get to that later, but we lay that on a washing table, spray it really good, and then I take a hatchet or a big knife, and I cut that into probably six pieces and shake all those out, wash it again, and that's about what I ship to the customer. We're gonna get rid of almost all the dirt. We'll maybe show you that later, but here's our, yeah, you know, these, you know, this is a, this is probably, I think it's 16 years old, 15 or 16. Look at the scale of that black cohosh. That's a magnificent specimen of its kind. We've got about 2,000 pounds left, if anybody wants any. Bye. How's that?